From the studios at Bossier Parish Community College, this is Bipsy News. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Corey Williams. And I'm Jordan Ginn. Thanks for tuning in to Bipsy News. Each year, elections are held to select a homecoming court to be presented at the homecoming basketball game. The court consists of a king and queen, three sophomore maids, and three freshman maids. The deadline for nominations is November 2nd. For a full list of qualifications, you can visit our website at bipsy.edu. You can also call the Student Life Office at 318-678-6035 for any more questions. The Office of Student Life and the Bipsy Student Government Association sponsors an annual talent show that is open to all currently enrolled Bipsy students. All contestants must submit a Bipsy talent show entry form and a Bipsy release form. The deadline to enter is November the 2nd. For any more questions, you can contact the Student Life Office by phone at 318-678-6035. The State Fair is here, everyone. Make sure you catch some rides, play some games, enjoy the circus, and enjoy some of that great fair food. Not to mention live music entertainment as well. Admission is $10. However, it is free if you go between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Don't forget to go on Thursdays. It's only $1 admission and parking. The fair is open from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m on weekdays and 11 p.m. on weekends. A $5 par parking fee is included as well. One of the upcoming events at the State Fair is the Red River State Fair Classic. Come see a game of Tigers versus Tigers as Gramlin State University and Texas Southern University go head to head. The game will take place on November the 7th at 2 p.m. at the Independent Stadium. Visit RedRiverStateFairClassic.com for tickets. The fair is a time of fun, but next week it will be a time to honor and pay respect. The city of Shreveport and Bossier, along with Caddo Parish Commission and Bossier Police Jury, will hold the fourth annual Veterans Parade and Honor Ceremony. The parade will be held on November 8th at 2 p.m. at the State Fair of Louisiana. Immediately following the parade will be the Veterans Honor Ceremony at the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club at 2821 Greenwood Road. The public is invited to attend, and you can contact Ken Epperson at 318-773-2654 for more information. A student recital will be held this coming Thursday at 3.30 in the Performing Arts Theater. The performance is free and open to the public. For more information, contact Dr. Hart at 318-678-6146 or email him at mhart at bipsy.edu. The Bitsy Learning Commons 22nd Annual Holiday Food Drive will be held through November 2nd to December 11th. You are encouraged to pick up an extra canned goods and non-perishable items to help feed those in need. Glass containers, expired foods, and packages cannot be accepted. Collection barrels are located in buildings A through G and all donations go to the Northwest Louisiana Food Bank. Jordan, well, it looks pretty cloudy outside. Do you think we're in for some more rain? That's what it's looking like, but Terry Hawkins will have that answer for us coming up with weather after the break. A promise was made. A promise that hit the beaches of Normandy. A covenant that split the skies over Berlin. A vow that captured Iwo Jima. A promise was made. A solemn oath that liberated Seoul. A sacred trust that defended Quezon. A pact that dug in in Da Nang. A contract that weathered Tet. A promise was made. A pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq. A bond that patrolled door to door in Fallujah. An IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. A promise we all must keep. DAV fights for all veterans and their families so they get the health care, financial benefits, and support they earned. If you're a veteran who needs help or you'd like to help us keep the promise, visit DAV.org. In 1977, in Johannesburg, South Africa, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. By the age of nine, he was already out playing it. The odds of this gentle lad winning the Junior World Golf Championships at the age of 14, one in 16 million. 
the odds of that same boy then making it to the US and European pro golf tours, one in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the Open Championship once and the US Open Championship twice, one in 780 million. The odds of this professional golfer having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 110. Ernie Els encourages you to learn the signs of autism at autismspeaks.org. Early diagnosis can make a lifetime of difference. Hello, welcome to Busy Weather. I'm your host, Terry Hawkins. Let's go check the temperatures our surrounding area, shall we? Over here is a 65 in Marshall and 65 in Nacogdoches. Up here is a 59 in Texarkana. And in the middle is 65 in Bossier, 67 in Minton, 67 in Reston, and finally 67 in Natchitoches. That's a lot of cool weather. Let's check our five-day forecast, see when the rain's coming again. Today is a 0% chance of rain with 77 for the high and 55 for the low. Tomorrow, better get your umbrellas because there's a 100% chance of rain with a 77, 75 for the high and 70 for the low. And on Sunday, 40% chance of rain with 73 for the high, 61 for the low. And on Monday and Tuesday, no rain with 80 for the high, 57 for the low. And on Tuesday, 81 for the high, 55 for the low. And that's all from me. I'm Terry Hawkins. Back to the news desk. Look at what's popping in the 318 with Channing Ewing. Good evening, everyone. My name is Channing Ewing, and today we have some Halloween special events this weekend for our show today, and I'm going to tell you all the things that will be popping in the 318. Oh, let's begin. Are you ready for a shocking good time? To Cy Welcome to Cy well, come to Cyport Tricks and Treats this Halloween. And they will have a they will have a dance party, a pumpkin, a search for candy, for not only kids, but also for the whole family. And there will be many prizes to be won. Plus, there will be a short movie about the madness Frankenstein and New York create when brought to life. All this good, scary fun will be happening Friday night from six to nine p.m. And it is only ten dollars for children and five dollars for adults. Do you like decorating and having memorable photos? Well, Bass Pro Shop in Bossier City will be having a free photo booth set up with Peanut and the gang, and the first 100 kids to get their picture taken will get a free glowing pumpkin necklace. Also, they will have buckets and decorations so your trick-or-treat basket can look the best out of everyone this Saturday from 12 to 7 p.m. Is dressing up and trick-or-treating not your thing and you like being scared? The Logan Mansion is, is having their annual Halloween candlelight tour and it will be on Friday and Saturday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. and it is only $10 for admission. It is located on the west end of Sh downtown Shreveport at 725 Austin Place, just one block from Municipal Auditorium. For more information about the backstory and details on the mansion, you can visit www.theloganmansion.com or call 318-459-2285. Last but not least, we have the amazing Marilyn Manson who will be performing a live concert this Sunday, November 1st at the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium. Tickets range $37 to $50 and will go fast, so get them while you can. Come out and have some fun. This concludes our show today, and I want to thank everyone for watching, and I hope that you go out and attend these amazing events that are happening this Halloween season. I'm your host, Channing, and this has been What's Popping at the 318. Oh, happy Halloween! <laughs> Matthew Craig tells us what Bipsy games we can look forward to. Plus, he gives us a recap of the first week of the NBA season. Going up.
1,297. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to sports. I'm your host, Matthew Craig. Today, I have some exciting sports for you. Today, our Cavaliers girls basketball team takes the court for a game in Baton Rouge at 3.30 p.m. So make sure you get out and support our Lady Cavs. And if you're not able to get to that game today, tomorrow you can also see them play at 12 p.m. Let's get out and support our Lady Cavs so they can get this win. Also today, our Cavaliers baseball team continues their World Series play today at Bipsy right now at the baseball field. So make sure you get out and support them, our baseball team, and sticking to the World Series, the Major League Baseball World Series continues tomorrow night at 7 p.m. The Mets look to shake back from a 0-2 start, and the Royals look to put them away. Getting to the National Basketball Association, DeAndre Jordan and the Clippers took on the Dallas Mavericks last night for his first game against Dallas since turning his back on them over the summer. DeAndre and the Clippers cruised to an easy win with a 104-88 win. Staying with the NBA, there's going to be a Western Conference rematch tonight with Golden State versus Houston Rockets at 8 p.m. on ESPN. Make sure you tune in to see the Rockets try to redeem themselves from their last year's loss. Well, that's it for me today. Stay tuned for the rest of Bibson News. Again, I'm your host, Matthew Craig. Back to the news desk. Thank you, Matt, for that sports news. Today is October the 30th, and we have Terry Hawkins to tell us what happened this day in history. Hello, welcome to another day in history. Since it's Friday, I'm going to be brief with you because I got some plans for myself tonight. First off, on October 30th, Muhammad Ali KOs George Foreman in eighth round in Kinshasa, Zaire. It was known as the Rumble in the Jungle. Also, in 1974, you may know him as a guy who wears people's skin. That's right. Today is anniversary of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre first appearing in movies. Next, in 1983, the first democratic elections were held in Argentina after seven years of military rule. Finally, in 2011 was when the favorite romantic movie, Twilight, Breaking Dawn, first came out. Now on to birthdays. First off, you may know her from hit movies like Are We There Yet? with Ice Cube. That's right. Happy 44th birthday to beautiful actress Nia Long. And I hope she doesn't get mad at me for telling her age on TV. Next, you know him from the Knicks show, 100 Things to Do Before High School. Happy birthday to Jaheim Toombs, who is 13 years old today. Finally, most of you may know him as the Fonz back in the day, but a lot of you know him as today the music teacher from the hilarious movie, Here Comes the Boom. Happy 69th birthday to Henry Winkler. Well, that's all from me. I'm Terry Hawkins. Corey and Jordan, back to you. Once again, thank you all for tuning in to Bipsy News. I'm Jordan Ginn. And I'm Corey Williams. Make sure you stay tuned in for a taste of Bipsy coming up next. And we'll see you guys again on Monday. Until, Until then. then.